pretty much, yes. Do I have it set to the right side? Nope, I don't. Let's flip that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go with game one of Prana versus Rain. Prana was Asia's number one team. Rain was uh, EU's number one team. Interestingly enough, Rain is in a position where should they lose both games, they might not play tomorrow. Rain needs to win at least one of these two games in order to be able to secure tomorrow. Prana, on the other hand, cannot afford to lose a single game. If Prana loses a single game, they are knocked out. No chance of playing tomorrow. Prana needs to win this game right now. This particular game. Oof, no pressure. Let's take a look at the setup here for Prana. North on Warrior's Path, they are bringing Mismus in Adelny. We saw him before in that ship. We got Yuka in the Daring. We got Zera Finite in the Shimakaze. We saw him playing before. 12 kilometer torpedoes on that ship. Uh, we got uh, Yi Chui uh, in a Kotz build gearing, backed up by cruisers Stalingrad, that's Himiku, uh, Himiku, Himu, Himukai? Himukai Kanata, in a reload build Stalingrad, Ker Akatsuki in a uh, unique upgrade Des Moines, behind them is BYF 1945 in a Kremlin with reload and all the tanky tank stuff. Uh, we got La 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 in a unique upgrade Moskva heading over towards Apples. And backed up by the Steel Shadows Burgon in your speed and gun build setup. All right, what do we have to the south for Rain? Button? For Rain, we have uh, Ganga Ring, who I want to call Boomerang for some whatever reason, in a <laughs> Gerdan status, uh -huh. you know, typical Kotz Gerdans. Mm -hmm. He is being followed by uh, I Am Lulu Snail in a. Ledge Mod Des Moines mm -hmm. with the I need to get somewhere quick and torpid bison with some smoke. So I wonder who will be smoking and supporting them in their battleship because Rain brought two mm. uh, is a sniper build Vermont with survivability. And is that a heavy AP shells? Ooh. Yes, and that is. Dastard, although it's AI Gunner Dastard, not Server Hopper Dastard. Hmm. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry, Gunner Dastard. Forgot to say your name. And 337, because I can't say the first part of the Daring's name, is typical Daring build with, you know, I'm going to do Daring type like stuff with uh, Lucar in his Ledge Mod Mosbog getting detected. How dare you? Getting to the typical Mosbog spot. The real ship Shady and the 420 Blazing uh, Gumo, who will be smoking uh, for Amazing in his Ledge Mod Amazing Des Moines build. Mm -hmm. That is not running a smoke thing. Stop looking at the Gumo. And. Oh, oh. Vermont, because I can't say the first part, but I can see the last two characters. Vermont is <laughs> sniper build with survivability. <laughs> He's more of a 360 survivability, quick stumping Vermont. He doesn't yeah. need super heavy AP shells because he's just going to dunk on you anyways. Yeah, that's Malamu. Um, so, reminder, banned ships are Marseille and Minotaur this time around. Well, at least I got half the names right. I, I don't know why I want to call Gangbang. Just a boomerang. Mm -hmm. It's like he's all over the place. That's a specialty. That's what it is now. I'm calling it now. Mm -hmm. Three three seven is maybe going to get this cap or is he going to get greedy and lose a lot of bunch of HP trying to get the cap? He did get reset and his mask by radar, so mm -hmm. it will be there for a while. And he is very deep into it. Yep. Meanwhile, over at the 910 area, Delny grabs the uh, cap very quickly for C cap. I'm shocked. Absolutely shocked. Do they not know you're supposed to use a French DD to get to a cap fast? Not the <laughs> Russian ships? Yeah, right, exactly. Exactly. Now, Bison does walk into the A cap. I mean, there's really not much 
that Prana can do about this. If I remember correctly, this is the exact same thing we saw earlier. Well, I mean, they could yell loudly at Bison to get off, but I don't think that's going to work. Mm-hmm. Well, Piranha's Daring is backing up, trying to get the cap. Single-filed corpse uh, going out from him from Reigns. Uh, daring. Now they have to use the French radar and just hope these shells land. And guess target. Looks like you did get a fire on him. And his DCP is down. He will be able to heal all the fire damage back, but that still hurts. Yeah, I was just looking at the Prana's Des Moines on the 10 line took a torpedo. That That's unfortunate. Ooh. Prana's Des Moines on the yeah, 10 line luckily avoids Vermont shells. Mm -hmm. That could have been bad. Yeah, Ship Shady now detected south of the cap. Well, Rain is starting to make their move to get Bacon, realizing that to everybody shocked and appalled that A is Rana's kite side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lala's just sitting there in the typical traditional Moskva spot. I think he's just waiting for Rain to get into the B cap. And Taro now detected. And that's because of the Stalingrad radar. Shells coming in now for Antaro. For gone shells for the for Lukar's Moskva. Help a connect. Rain does know that the Downey is rotating over to support the daring. He got caught out by the Moskva radar from uh Lukar's south south there of Bacon. Mm-hmm. They are aware that the Kremlin's making his move into the channel. This uh, usually doesn't end well for the battleship that goes no. into the channel. No, except for that one game with the uh, Vermont that went in and then uh, Schlieffen well, decided just to die. <laughs> it still didn't end well for the battleship because I believe the Schlieffen went in first and Vermont was just like... I yeah, gotcha. that, that, that's what I mean. Like, it was, it was sad. But oh, anyway. no, no, that's right. It was the Vermont that went in the channel. And yes. then the said, I'm going to deal with you in Vermont. It's like, nope. That's right. That was one of the craziest, craziest shots we've seen. But uh, in this game, Malamu is not willing to read, make that mistake. He's actually stopping here south of this little lip. Probably a smart decision. I think he's looking for shots on Lala's Moskva. Well, Rain's daring uh, 337 there is getting bacon, but he did smoke up, so he's like, tell him, he's telling them, hey, this is where I'm trying to take the cap, send your shells in my direction. Yep, but if you look at it, he's actually sitting outside of the smoke, uh, which is very smart. Everybody's guessing in the wrong location. Lala continues to be farmed out. He's almost, he's at 10k. He's got 30 seconds till his next heal. Yeesh. He, uh... Now he's at 2,000 hit points. And he's got and deep water. Radar picks or, up the Daring and Dalny. Conga line torps aren't going to matter as Lala goes down. Wow. Really good focus fire by Rain. Focus fire will win you the games along with uh, keeping your DDs alive. More importantly, keeping your DDs alive and then focusing down the enemy's DDs. Mm -hmm. Lucar radars, they pick up the Delny that's going for the YOLO on the Vermont. Oh my god. Piranha's Garing, I believe, ate a torpedo. I'm looking at Delny here. Here comes the charge. Is he going to get enough to kill this Malamu, uh, Vermont? Oh, he's eating all those He ate dogs. all of them, and he goes down just like that. That's actually a really good play for Piranha. Take that battleship out of the equation. 
More importantly, we've actually seen a YOLOing DD pull off the kill, get the trade that it needed to get. Yep, and you were talking about Prana's gearing over on the 10 line. I see that now. 609 hit points, and he doesn't have Adrenaline Rush. Feels bad. Oh, Adrenaline Rush is overrated is what he's saying. I uh -huh. don't need it. I'm just that good. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Amazing going to eat two Torps? Ooh. It's Where's one. Where's Amazing? Oh, you're looking all the way down here. Yeah, eats one torpedo. That's huge. He brands into the real ship Shady. Yep. Now he's got his Hydra on, so that's good. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered anyways, even running in, because that hit him dead center. Mm -hmm. More importantly, though, Rain has got two caps to Prana's one. The Kremlin that went in the channel, to everybody's shock and amazement, comes he's out on still unscathed. alive, yeah. Like, nobody was there to stop him. Because the Delny said no to you, Vermont. No to you. Mm-hmm. Radar up now by Karak Gutsky on the 10 line, trying desperately to find for Amazing. They know he's got to be low. Coming now very, very quickly. The radar should catch for Amazing in a moment here. We can see the line coming forward. Question is, how much time will they have to shoot him? Not much at all. Actually, for Amazing moves forward now a little bit more. Look at how close. Like, they know the radar is coming. They see the smoke coming. But because... Because we turned in the gearing to fire torpedoes, there's just not enough space. So they're guessing right now before amazing. Oh, luckily the Kremlin missed. I yes. think the Des Moines got a couple of bounces, but mm -hmm. it's forcing for amazing out of that smoke cloud. So we cannot just sit in it and farm out a Mospa who decide or the Kremlin who decided to take a couple torps from uh Gangaman's could ask. Yeah, he took more than forces a couple. Out of DC, forces out a DCP. Gang now opening up. I like this because he knows the DCP is down, so get the fires. Mm hmm. Well, there's one. What's Bison the and doing? Lulu are defending apples from evil Shimakaze. And Bergon, that's, well, sitting on the B-line. Good on Taro, single-fire torpedoes coming into BYF's uh, Kremlin. Looking really good. Real good. Kremlin shot uh, Garner. I don't know why he would do that instead of, you know, hey, Gdansk to the south that he can easily hit. Well... He managed to uh, avoid daring torpedoes. Mm -hmm. He's going to come up from behind the mosque, Bob, which can't be citadel from the rear end. It's not an easy shot. It's just as difficult as citadeling through the nose of the mosque, Bob, but everybody's opening up on the Kremlin that can possibly shoot it. Mm -hmm. Except for Des Moines, because I don't blame you. I don't want to die either. We still need you to kill the low health gearing. Here come torpedoes. On the nose. Oof. Oof. Good hit, but not enough. I I think we did get a butt citadel there. Possibly. Unfortunately, it was only one. And down goes the Kremlin. And with that, Rain secures us their spots in the, the finals tomorrow. More importantly, Kremlin showed you guys I can come out of that gap, but I won't survive coming out of it. <laughs> that is very true. And by the way, that was Team Alpha that won that one. Uh, no. <laughs> what possibly could be our last... Game of the day. Remember, I'll continue, as always, streaming. Let's see. Uh, for Rain on loop, North Spawn, they're bringing with them Bison in a Cotsbuild gearing. 
Gangbring is in a Delny of their own now. Interesting. Gangbring's like, I want to play with it with the fun boat. And Taro is now in a Gdansk. Posing them is Lulu Snail's Des Moines. Unique upgrade. Lucar's Petro with reload. Arturius in a San Martin. We have totally seen him before. And look, he's got that gold camo again to try to get everybody's attention. Or amazing in a Salem with radar. Malamu in an Ohio this time with a sniper quick scope build. And finally, Dastert is now in a full secondary Schlieffen. All the secondaries. What do we got to the um, south, Budden? Well, we have a 420 Blazing Kumo that just stopped. Somebody DC'd. Yep, we have a disconnect. So, right, so we're going to bring it back to our best of three screen. Well, since luckily nothing changed on that side, we're just going to go through mine real quick so we can comment on the game. Uh, well, it's actually going. 420 Blazing Gumo, uh, Radar Gdansk, a Torp Shimmy. I don't know if they're 12s or 20s, probably 12s. Uh, yeah, they're 12s. Pew Pew Delaney. There's a secondary Napoli. Nobody's surprised. A Manitar. No surprise. Ledge Mod. Wooster. We have a tank slash speed build. St. Vincent. Mm -hmm. I would just call that normal build. And we have Sniper built Ohio. Right. Now, we did just have a restart, so we're trying this again. This is game two, Rain versus Piranha. This match really doesn't matter anymore at this point. Rain has secured second place, which means Rain will begin tomorrow in the loser's bracket. They can only afford to lose one match. We'll talk about how all this works after this game ends. One thing of note, Puddin, look, it's a Napoli. We haven't seen a Napoli for quite some time. All right. It seems like um, San Martin has take over the Napoli's. The, you know, job of being on the kite side. Mm -hmm. I don't need a babysitter per se. Mm -hmm. it, it, like I don't need as much of a babysitter. I, I a destroyer spotting for me. I wonder, but I'm taking a look at what Braun is doing. It almost feels they're going, like they're going to do the Elser maneuver, right? They're going to do a bacon apple push. Mm hmm. Now, Loop, for those of you guys who haven't been watching this tournament, Loop is a little bugged right now. It's got a four-cap layout, but it's ticking up at three-cap pace. So what that means is, typically, Loop, games are really quick, and they are decided by one kill, and and essentially, you know, teams getting each team getting two caps. So early on, getting one kill is crucial on this map. And we can see Gangbarang now under Wooster Radar in the Delny. Nobody really able to take advantage of him. Yuka's Gdansk trying to shoot uh, in, but Gangbarang is just behind. And just like that, they do come away with the C cap. Now, what I like what Rain is doing is San Martin and Schlieffen are going to be on the kite side. Mm -hmm. Right? With dual Nuremberg Schlieffen... That's a lot of firepower to stop a heavy DD push with San Martin radar. That's right. So, realistically, all Rain has to do is delay them as long as possible mm -hmm. or even deny them the donut cap. The, the D cap, that's correct. As a reminder, Marseille and Vermont were banned for this particular game. Torpedo's coming in on Gangbring's position. Wow. He's okay. Of course he's okay. He's Russian biased. Mm hmm Right? He doesn't need to part the water. He just needs to part the torpedoes. Mm-hmm. Now, the one problem with bringing a Schlieffen is 
really doesn't tank well. It tanks as well as a cruiser now. Well, some cruisers can take extremely well. Uh, that's kind of a downside <laughs> for a battleship. <laughs> Yichu just barely dodges a torpedo. He almost turned a ship into a torpedo. Yeesh. Let's go take a look at the uh, the Elser maneuver. We call it that because that's what you do. You just you just go hard at whatever battleship you see, and you take it down. Now, Prana is a little bit. Um, they're not really put together for for this push. You know, usually you've got the Gumo in front who can smoke everybody else up, so they can just shoot for free. That's not really happening here, and the result of that is that Daster doesn't have a lot of focus fire on him at least right now is there a tiebreaker going on there's talk about box versus oh, no. au currently tied for fourth oh. place which i mean it's not a progression thing so we might be able to bring that to you guys uh, after this is done we'll have to see i do believe rain has picked up on Donuts is the kite side, so we might as well get into that cap because we're going to lose apples real quickly here. Absolutely. Misa is going to... Oh. Misams takes a torpedo in the Delny. That is very bad luck. That was a uh, Schlieffen torpedo. Fine. Gangbring yeah, shows up in his Delny at just the right time to start shooting at Yuka's Gdansk and smoke. I mean, Misha, he's got AR. He was just activating AR. There's no big panic. More importantly, Lucar pushes off the booster that was going to try to cap Trockley. He's like, ah, uh -uh, buddy, this is my diabetes. Stay away. Yeah, well, that's unfortunate. I mean, because now there's absolutely no map control uh, for the middle for Piranha. That booster's going to be uh, forced back. He's going to lose a lot of hit points. Like, if you're doing a uh, bacon apples push, you, you pretty much can send map control, at mm. least in the middle. Because you need to control the flanks, because you cannot afford to get overwhelmed. Right. You, your map control is going to come from your battleship being able to possibly eat somebody who wants to push out. All right, sorry, I'm just communicating. I, I'd love to grab that uh, tiebreaker if we can as well. More importantly, Apples did get flipped, but did it get flipped fast enough? Uh, for Prana, yes. Dan Martin goes down. But are they going to be able to... Is Prana Rooster going to be able to survive to equalize the kill? Mm-hmm. Well, it looks like the Death Squad is moving over to Chocolate. Yep. They, um, Wooster's in they, trouble. They need to get this rooster out, and they need to get them out quickly so they can start focusing on the death squad coming over. Mm-hmm. Fortunately, rooster goes dark. Yeah. Clutch darkness for him. Yeah, he's got to heal up in 10 seconds. This is still a very competitive game, guys, but take a look at the scores. The score timer, six minutes now, because, again, that, that cap uh, progression issue. Well, it's five minutes for uh, Prana. That's right. Oh my god, I actually thought there was a sub in the game because the Hiragumo and Minotaur were so close together on the <laughs> mini-map. <laughs> like, what? What is that? So you get the triangle line thing going and you're just like... <gasps> yeah, I, I had to do a double take. Like, that doesn't look right. Uh, Lulu Snail catches... Yuchi's uh, Shimakaze out with, with radar. I'm surprised that he's even bothering to fire torpedoes now because, uh, you know, that, that, that. Rain still does up. need to get a kill here. They do. They absolutely they do. Desperately need to get a kill or get back onto a cap and start delaying it. Uh oh. Mitchka's mm -hmm. Dalny got caught out by Gang uh Gang Gang and, and Daster here too. This is a huge misplay. There's no right. need for this. Absolutely no need for this. If he gets set on fire, he's gonna get himself detected for longer 
But the other thing too he is that he is burning. Yeah. His DCP's available. Oh my available. god, they destroyed a torp tube. His engine's out, he's burning, he's there he goes. water humping, he went dark. I think he was waiting until he got to the to the line so he could make a turn along that line. And he actually saves the ship, but look, because he goes into the into the border, he's forced to go sideways to Gangbarang's Delny. And well He's almost spotted. He's just barely outside of spotting range. If he didn't have concealment, he'd be dead. That's how that's how ridiculous this was. But this is an example of why I, I oftentimes talk on my replay analysis about taking, uh, not taking concealment expert and or concealment uh, module in a uh, Soviet gunboat destroyer, because when you when you do that, it actually gets you too close. You run into somebody way too close to him, and then you uh -oh. can't get out in time. Yeah, I know. He's opening up. He's, he's dead. He's probably going to go down. The question is, can they trade out Gangbring? If they can trade Gangbring, that's okay. Gang's heal is down. Misa's heal is gone. He's got no more heals. What you see is what you get. He goes down, and... 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 More shells coming in on the Delny. Gang's at 63 hit points in healing. Oh. oh doesn't matter. Huge. Gang shells actually did something. Huge kill right there. That's exactly what was necessary. Uh, on the other side, Shimakaze is extremely low, probably from that uh, radar from Lulu Snail. Ironically, more importantly, the Napoli is isolated yep. and alone versus a Gearing and a Des Moines. Yep. But he just and needs he to is... survive for three minutes. Look at the timer now. He just has to live for well, three minutes. He should be able to do that mm -hmm. until Lulu starts connecting shells. Mm -hmm. Then it's going to be a question, does the Des Moines actually have the DPM to kill a Napoli? Well, and keep in mind, too, there's a minute and 20 seconds left on, on BYF's Napoli smoke. So as soon as that pops up, he's probably going to pop his smoke, and he'll be dark for the remainder of the match. As long as he stays far enough away from Lulu, he can't be radared, he can't be shot at, he can't be killed. So I'm pretty sure that's what BYF is thinking right now. Just stay alive till I get to the smoke. Don't be stupid. It'll be okay. Look at Formazing Salem. There's an attempt right now with the Wooster and Harugumot. They're trying to farm up Malamu's Ohio. This would be very interesting if they can farm him out. Of all ships, it's a Ohio, though. Malamu ducks away, says nah. So now they're like, all right, well, let's change to Lucar. I like that idea. Well, like both options stink. Do we take it forever to kill an Ohio, or do we take forever to kill a Petro? Yep. I think the important thing is they needed to get the Asterix HP pull in this fight. Not reversing. Well, right? It's taking him too long to get into this. He's in a position right now where, you know, he's trying to get his secondaries to do work. He backs up enough to get a shot into my own top guns. St. Vincent doesn't really do too much. No, I mean, I understand that Rain is moving on and they're probably thinking, we're, we're guaranteed to play tomorrow, so whatever. Still like to see them come out and just either just dominate or or give us a, you know, a nice tight game. But, like, it may look tight, but it's really not. It's, like, Rain needs to do something. Otherwise, they are going to lose this. Mm-hmm. Like, as you said, it's secured anyway, so for Rain, this needs to be practice. Uh, and that's how that's how they have to look at this game. Oh, Lulu Snail goes down to the Ohio. Oh, that's, that's pretty that much it. That seals the deal right there. Three seconds to go, everybody. That's it. Woohoo, Team Bravo wins. All right, Team Bravo wins yet again. And there's that inky I was talking about with uh, with the Napoli.